Hello, I'm Mark Jackson. I'm a lecturer in archaeology at Newcastle University and I just wanted to take a few moments to tell you about the extraordinary Gertrude Bell, an exhibition currently on show at the Great North Museum, Hancock, on campus here at Newcastle University. Gertrude Bell was born in the northeast of England. She spent much of her early life travelling in what we would now call the Middle East. And she came to love the people and the places and was fascinated by the archaeology of that part of the world. The outbreak of the First World War meant that the British government suddenly needed people who knew the Ottoman Empire. And so archaeologists, people like Lawrence of Arabia, Gertrude Bell were recruited to advise the British army. Um, they knew the people, they knew the places, and they were able to help make maps. Gertrude's first proper posting in early 1916 was to Basra, and from there she went up to Baghdad and spent much of the First World War in Mesopotamia, what we now call Iraq. Following the war, Gertrude was instrumental in forging a new country. She drew up the boundaries of Iraq, she helped to establish um, an Arab monarchy, and um, she followed through on her passion for the archaeology by establishing the, the Baghdad Museum. In recent years, we've seen the archaeology of this region under serious threat from the looting of the Baghdad Museum in 2003 to whole sites um, with their monuments being deliberately targeted for destruction. So this exhibition brings together so many different elements. Uh, the impact of the First World War on the Middle East, the legacy of those times on events that we still see unfolding today, and of course, the role of a remarkable woman in extraordinary times. For more information about the exhibition and the archive on which it's based, check out the links in the video description below. This is your opportunity to dive in to the world of Gertrude Bell, the letters, the diaries that she wrote, and the photographs that she took. So come along to the exhibition, check out the archive online, and see where your investigations take you.